New Maserati Levant SUV 2016 Review Big verdict as Maserati's first SUV the Levant, hits British tarmac. Verdict 3 Star As a rival to the Porsche Cayenne or even the Audi Q7, the Levant falls short. But as a standalone product, you can't help but feel drawn to the Maserati's Italian charm, sweet chassis, and generous kit list. It's not as practical, economical, or as well finished as its German competitors, nor is it quite as complete to drive, but it has an undeniable charm that other subs in this market simply can't match. Italian sports car makers aren't famed for their subs. However, while Ferrari has committed to never building a jacked-up 488 GTB, there's an Alfa Romeo around the corner and a Lamborghini in the pipeline. Maserati is the first to bring one to market, with the new Levant finally reaching UK showrooms this month. Yet while European customers will be treated to a Ferrari fettled V6, British buyers have to make do with a more rational diesel for now. The Levant is a little longer and wider than a Porsche Cayenne. There's only one specification to choose from, but all cars come equipped with 18-inch wheels, leather upholstery, and keyless entry. Buyers can add items like the luxury pack for £5,950, this is, in effect, a spec in its own right, but acts more like an optional package, adding plusher materials, a Harman slash Kardon stereo and electric rear sun blinds. Fit and finish are fine, although it's some way off the carefully crafted cabin of an Audi Q7 or Volvo XC90. Plus. The media system feels like it's been lifted from a Fiat 500X costing a third of the price. Material quality is questionable in places, and the vulgar wood here was a £1,000 option. On startup, the clattery engine instantly bursts the suave Italian dream, reminiscent more of a Berlin taxi than a silky Milanese maestro. It's a problem not found in the car's German rivals, which suppress all but the worst rattles from the cabin. Around town, the ride is fidgety, too. Even on the modest 19-inch wheels of our test car, it shakes over rough surfaces, while the bulky body isn't exactly easy to maneuver. But things soften on the open road where the Levant makes its case as a capable motorway cruiser. At 70 miles per hour, it's surprisingly refined. The engine pulls at impressively low revs, and fades into the background at a steady speed. The ride irons itself out, too, and smooths all but the very worst bumps. Maserati's adaptive cruise control is a bit erratic, but if you're happy to keep control, it's a satisfying car to drive long distances. Turn off the motorway and onto a stretch of twisting tarmac and the Maserati shows its colors. Despite its bulky body, this is a car that has Italian DNA in its veins, and is pleasingly agile given its size. It isn't as tight as a KN, but resists body roll well. The limited slip differential and standard fit four-wheel drive system allow power to be effectively distributed front and rear. The hydraulic steering offers decent feel, too, although again, the Porsche's setup is more direct and feeds back more through the wheel when you push on. Sending power to the wheels is an 8-speed ZF box. It's not as fast as the dual-clutch transmission in a Q7, and won't snatch gears as reliably when using the steering wheel paddles, but leave it in auto and it'll slur changes without you noticing. Being a diesel, this Levant shouldn't cost you too much to run. Claimed fuel economy of 39.2 mpg is slightly down on the KN Diesel's 41.5 mpg, while emissions of 189g slash km over 179g slash km in the Porsche mean a very small 2% benefit in kind penalty for business users. The Ferrari V6 will emit 253g slash km when it arrives. Practicality is a strong point. Space in the back is generous, while the 580 liter boot is a good size, 
and the room is usable despite the slightly sloping roofline. Key Specs Model, Maserati Levant V6 Diesel Engine, 3.0 liter V6 turbo diesel Price, 54,355 pounds Power slash torque, 271 bhp slash 600 nm Fuel economy slash CO2, 39.2 mpg slash 189 g slash km 0-62 mph slash top speed, 6.9 s slash 143 mph On sale, now